Eric Rice is the visionary behind Drive Staffing Solutions, a program dedicated to empowering individuals facing homelessness with opportunities for employment and a fresh start in life. Eric's unwavering commitment to breaking down barriers and providing support beyond just job placement has transformed the lives of countless individuals. Through his compassion, determination, and collaborative spirit, Eric is not only changing lives, but also challenging societal perceptions, proving that everyone deserves a chance to thrive. Thank you so much, Eric Rice, for joining me here in Aware Now to share this space and to share your story. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, let's start this way. Can you walk us through the inception of Drive Staffing Solutions? What is it that inspired you to create a program aimed at providing employment opportunities to people facing homelessness? Yeah, yeah, it, it really started uh, prior. I was a plant manager and I was uh, trying to keep our equipment running. I was managing the facility during COVID, which was a very unique time. Uh, during that time, there was a lot of pressures to keep people out of the workforce. So I put most of my energy, if not all my energy into trying to attract people to the workforce. Um, and through that event and that um, uh, activity, I ended up uh, visiting one of our local uh, homeless shelters. I had a colleague that connected, uh, Ken Mason, and he asked me if I could go out and do a job fair. So I stopped out there and um, really that one day, that one moment uh, changed the entire focus mission and vision for what I plan to do the rest of my life. And I see myself in a unique position where I can help community members connect with employment opportunities. I've spent my entire life in manufacturing so I can help community members uh, at least give them an opportunity to be successful in the manufacturing arena. So uh, we went there, we did the job fair and we still, you know, we met six people that day and we still have three of them employed with us almost two years later. Um, it's been, there's challenges, but that's what we focus on now is just knocking down any barrier that either prevents people from going into the workforce or maintaining reliable uh, employment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, the impact of drive staffing solutions seems profound with so many stories of success of the many, many stories of success that you've personally witnessed, Eric, could you just share one with us today that really, really resonates and really means so much to you? Yeah, one, uh, one of my first employees, when we met him in the shelter, it was actually that first day um, when we were doing our very first job fair. And uh, the gentleman had uh, an orange vest like you wear when you're out in the shipping area or some plants make you wear them anywhere throughout the facility and uh, it was really dirty and ragged and uh, we were talking to the director of the house at that time and she mentioned that he worked for a previous employer it was one of his first jobs and he didn't make it but he kept that vest on as just a reminder of his employment and so chelsea and i chelsea was our hr manager at the time and we were very intrigued by his story and and at the time he was um he needed help filling out the application um you know he's a middle-aged gentleman and so they helped him out with that but as a plant manager i'm looking at it and i'm saying you know what i have five over 500 employees in my facility right and if he's struggling we have work that we could use him for and that might free up somebody else to run a piece of equipment so Anyhow, uh, we gave him an opportunity. He uh, he came in and he first started uh, cleaning all of our fixtures, um, all of our quality gauges. And But he didn't like that because he saw all of his friends that he came in with working on the equipment. Um, shortly after that, I tried like a short-term janitorial stint. Still, he didn't like it because his friends were on the machine. And then we ended up transferring him to one machine and he loved it now fast forward he's been with us two years now the supervisors in the plant they absolutely love him he never misses a day of work 
Um, he's always there, very, very reliable. And since he's learned how to operate, you know, five or six machines in his area, and he's become a very strong asset to the supervision because he's reliable, has a great attitude, and he's there to work every day. So that was for sure and still is my favorite success story. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a wonderful story. Um, you know, so partnerships, partnerships are important. The partnership with Martin Rea seems to mm -hmm. be pivotal in providing job opportunities and additional support like transportation, shoes, work uniforms. How did this collaboration come about? How did this begin? Yeah, so Martin Rea was my employer when I was the plant manager. Um, and we have a great leadership team at Martin Rea. Um, I have a great relationship with Pat, the CEO, uh, as well as the, the other directors and managers that I worked with. And um, ultimately, there was a huge need for labor in Martin Rea. And uh, when our program started, um, Pat, the CEO, he said, you know, if I can be a part of somebody's transformation, then I'm going to have a reliable employee for a long period of time. So he saw the value in investing in the people and trying to be part of more than just an employment opportunity, but a change in someone's life. You know, let's talk about the job fair held every Thursday at the Jackson Interface Shelter. I wonder if you could just elaborate on the structure of this fair and and what's what sort of success you've seen from it over all this time so we host a, a weekly job fair at the jackson interfaith shelter um interfaith has been just a huge partnership in this whole exercise um we go there every thursday nine o'clock it's not just residents of the shelter but there's community members from all around that come um every single week we have 10 to 50 future candidates looking to start work um sometimes there's some return employees but for the most part it's new community members trying to to connect and the interfaith has been just such a blessing because their program uh relies on accountability and it's a faith-based program which are both very very critical um behavioral attributes that we look in our employees right um it all starts with our employees and their desire to change and and change whatever situation it might it might be that they're in and so interfaith helps with that and helps in those early transitional um, stages so that they can be successful not only at their employment but also whatever they're pursuing in their life mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, so one last question for you today is, is this beyond immediate employment, what long-term support does drive offer to ensure sustained success and stability for the program participants? Yeah. So we're working right now with, um, we've collaborated with a total of four nonprofit organizations and our long-term vision ultimately is to provide transitional housing for our employees so that when they exit the shelter they have somewhere safe and secure to go for a period up to maybe 24 months um and really our, our goal is that we believe that if we can stabilize employment shelter and transportation for a period up to 24 months then we give the community members an opportunity to transition from their state of dependence to independence Oh, so awesome. Thank you so much, Eric, for sharing your story, sharing this incredible work that you're doing, and just for helping all of us become a bit more aware now. Thank you so much.